and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, there won't be any music this time. This is just to give you guys something that I stumbled upon because I'm working on someone's bankruptcy and telling all of you, you need to study Chapter 11 bankruptcy for sole proprietorships. Well, anyway, I'm working on someone's bankruptcy and I was finishing up and proofreading the document that I put together and <laughs> I just realized something. So I want to share that with you guys. Uh, pay attention if you don't mind. I, I think you might like it. Under the bankruptcy code, section 541, it covers personal interests as well as other interests. This includes tangible or intangible property, causes of action, or other forms of property specified in the bankruptcy code. Pay attention. Can you explain the causes of action section? What are the limitations? What are included as causes of action? Let's put the S here so that we get it right. Uh-oh. Hold on. Put my S there now. Can a criminal conviction be considered, i.e. people who are in jail, like the guy who got 400 people out of jail in Puerto Rico, considered a cause of action? that can be included in a chapter 11 bankruptcy filing because they got to pay their debt to society. Hold on. Under the bankruptcy code 41 defines what property is included in the bankruptcy estate, which is a pool of assets and interests that are subject to distribution among creditors. This section comprises of various types of property, including tangible and tangible property, causes of action, and other specified property. Causes of action refer to Legal claims or rights that the debtor may possess against another property. Hmm. They typically arise from a range of circumstances, such as contract disputes, personal injury claims, intellectual property, such as the estate, uh, breach of fiduciary duty. Causes of action can have significant value and can be considered assets of the debtor. However, there are certain limitations and considerations regarding causes of action in bankruptcy court. Actual date for the cause of action, transferability of the cause of action, and exemptions. Some cases or causes of action may be exempt from exclusion in bankruptcy estate, depending on the blah, 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 blah. Regarding your specific question, and why didn't you just get to my question? I didn't ask you about all of that. A criminal conviction in itself is not typically considered a cause of action. Wake up. I didn't ask you if it could typically be considered a cause of action. Comma, I asked, is there any prohibition of it not being treated as an asset of the debtor since they are the ones liable for the debt that must be paid back to society? Exclamation mark. What is the provision in the bankruptcy code prohibiting such? Question mark. Stop listening. They always apologize to me. I'm so sick and tired. They know I'm going to have to forgive them. They apologize. Lord have mercy. I apologize for any confusion. Oh, shut up. Under the bankruptcy code, a criminal case itself is generally not considered. Bankruptcy code focuses primarily. It isn't. Okay, there isn't a specific provision in the bankruptcy code that explicitly addresses the treatment of criminal conviction as assets in bankruptcy. However, bankruptcy laws generally excludes criminal fines and penalties. No, generally, no, uh -uh. and restitution from discharges. This means that even if a debtor files for bankruptcy, they would still be responsible for paying fines, penalties, and restitution in criminal conviction. In summary, now watch this. Wake up. I need you to understand, comma, I don't care about your use of the word generally, comma, typically, comma, normally, comma, or any other non-specific words, or generalizing a response, comma, you will be specific in responding to me. Is that understood? Exclamation mark. Since the case List a criminal defendant's name, comma, that evidences interest in the case, i.e. a property interest, comma, equitable interest, and or legal interest. 
as defined by Bankruptcy Code 541. Is this not correct? Exclamation mark. Do not give me nuances, comma, do not give me your opinion. Just answer the question with specificity. Is that understood? Question mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, had I not taken the time to even do this, I would not even have come up with that argument right there. The fact that the name is on the case <laughs> shows that you have a legal interest in the case. It shows you have a property interest in the case. It shows that you are party to that case. So yes, you can use that as an asset. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Hold on, y'all. <sighs> Provide specific argument. 541 bankruptcy code defines property interest to include blah, blah, blah. Includes tangible and intangible while causes of action are considered property interest. Criminal conviction is not typically. So I have to get away from this one because this one is not barred. I mean, not barred, but uh, chat GPT. This is a completely different one. This is Poe. And Poe likes to keep giving the same answers. It, it won't go and revisit the question. So Wheeze are going to ask the question again. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Understood. The listing of a criminal defendant's name in a case can indeed evidence an interest in the case, such as a property interest, equitable interest, or legal interest, as defined by the bankruptcy code. Hold on. Wake up. Wake up. Can you provide me five case citations evidencing this fact? Question mark. Stop listening. Tick tock, tick tock. Stop listening. Stop listening. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I just kept talking because I was, I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control. <laughs> Whew. Man, tell me where else are you getting this type of information from? Y'all ain't got to come back here. Y'all ain't got to stay here. Just take this information and run. Forrest, run. You got people in jail. I've been telling you for years that the individual filed bankruptcy in Puerto Rico. You were asking me to do the research for you and I told you that's not my job. Now, hold on now. If they cause injury to another person, I don't know if that will work. I cannot tell you that will work because the Constitution has a law called common law. Common law prohibits the court not making the person pay by correcting the wrong for the injury cause. But them traffic tickets and that, that junk, whew, that's a different story. So what will it hurt to try? I'm sorry. Now, hold on. Legal interest in a criminal case pending against him was an asset in the bankruptcy estate under 541. Now, this is what he's saying, but I don't believe him. So what we do when we have this? Now, I'm going to paste this in the comment section so that y'all can get it in the comment section. Not the comment section, the description section. I'm sorry. There are no comments underneath my videos. I got too many idiots. I mean, people who don't want to stick to the script. They want to talk about everything else but what the video is about. And I ain't got time. Or they want to give their opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, the comment section, sorry that many people misunderstood that. I only put it open so people can stay on subject, so that people can contribute information that might help someone else, not so that they can give their opinion. Who gives up about your opinion when we're talking about law? I talk about law, people. I talk about law. I practice law. You heard me say that out loud on video. And I dare anybody to challenge me as to whether or not I have that right. Sorry, I apologize. <laughs> they come up with these stupid statutes. Oh, I'm sorry, there is no statute. Practicing law without a license is not a, it's not a law. It never was a law. You, you hear it say the unauthorized practice of law? Well, I have a right under the Constitution of the United States. As long as these idiots want to say that ignorance of the law is inexcusable, then everybody has a right to know the law. So I don't have to sit up there and have a license to know the law. Sorry, that I'm waiting 
I want to go to the Supreme Court on that one since they come up with all these stupid rules. So let's go. I have no problem. All right, hold on, y'all. Yeah, there are a lot of... St- I just watched an episode of The Good Fight, and that's what the case was about. Somebody creating an app that does law and attorneys being afraid they're going to lose their job. Please, all of the monies these idiots charge people? Hold on, let me do this right here. Based on the search results provided, the key points are bankruptcy estate includes all legal, all legal and equitable interest of the debtor's property as of the commencement of the bankruptcy case, including causes of action and other tangible property. This broad definition of property of the estate under this, because remember, it's the all caps name is a trap. I keep trying to tell y'all has been interpreted to include the debtor's interest in pending cases and the potential recoveries of such cases. I'm going to give you guys this link in the description. Pay attention so that you can go to all of these sites so that y'all can start helping y'all's people. Look, start a company doing this, helping people who are incarcerated. But do your research. Know something about the law. Don't just do it because you're doing it. Do your research. I don't have time for starting all the company's people. I'm doing too much right now, and it's literally causing damage to me. Okay? Seriously. And I'm not joking right now when I say that. It's literally having an effect on me, all the things that I'm doing at one time, and I'm having to pull back. Oh, I didn't want to call you because, you know, you said that you were... Shut up! I will tell you when I don't want to talk to you. Sorry, a lot of people who schedule consults or who need to ask serious questions will hold off and not understand that they'll piss me off by not asking the question. I'll let you know if I'm tired and I ain't got time to talk. I had to do that like seven times yesterday. But today, oh I was doing all right. Can't you hear it in my voice? I'm working on documents today. All right. Courts have consistently held that a debtor's legal interest in a criminal proceeding, such as the potential claims and recoveries, constitutes bankruptcy for the bankruptcy estate that must be administered by the bankruptcy trustee. Chapter 11, you're the bankruptcy trustee. Lord have mercy. Sorry, the debtor in possession. Therefore, the bankruptcy court has exclusive jurisdiction to determine what constitutes property of the bankruptcy estate, including the debtor's interest in a criminal matter and related claims. Ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't do you better. I'm going to give you this, okay? You're going to get this from me, and it's free. I'm not keeping it to myself. I've been telling you guys this for a year. I told you, guy in Puerto Rico, I remember. The, I don't remember the idiot's name. I remember I didn't get along with him because we ended up in the same cell. Coincidence? I didn't think so at the time. I'm going to give you the story. Then we're going to end about 15 minutes. I'm in Puerto Rico. They're playing games with me, but I'm trying to go in there to help the people in Puerto Rico because Puerto Rico is the armpit of America. Like they said, New Jersey is. They, America doesn't care about Puerto Rico. And so they've been mistreating those people for years. So going into Puerto Rico, I knew I was going to be there. I told everybody from the very beginning that I was going to end up in a prison with white walls, blue doors, with traps on the doors. That was where I ended up in Puerto Rico. So I prepared for that. See a newscast. Gentleman is being arrested because he has filed bankruptcy for 400 people. They didn't get him for filing bankruptcy for 400 people. They got him for charging them $1,500. So be careful, y'all. Because now he was practicing law because he was doing the paperwork for him. He didn't do all of his due diligence. So I tried to help him. He received a free consultation for hours, days in a row. He understood English. He received that. Guess what he didn't do? He didn't listen. Now, he's out of jail now. He did get out of jail. He did use some of the stuff that I gave him. He's out of jail. But the fact is, ladies and gentlemen, it worked. 400 people. They didn't get rearrested. 400 people and got all of their child support reduced. 400 people. People, y'all trying to listen to me, but y'all ain't been listening. Chapter 11. Okay, now he filed bankruptcy. You know what? I never, I think he just only filed chapter 7. No, 13. He filed 13. You guys, number 11. All right, we'll talk, okay? Get you this information in the description and in the t- uh, the description and in the title is going to be the link for this. Okay, gotta go.